Hey guys, Tim Ballard here, CEO of Operation Underground Railroad. I want to respond to a lot of questions we're getting about this whole Wayfair thing. Look, bottom line, law enforcement's gonna flush that out and we'll get our answers sooner than later. But I want to tell you this, children are sold that way. For 17 years, I've worked as an undercover operator online, no question about it, children are sold on social media platforms, on websites and so forth. So I'm glad people are at least waking up to it, especially right now because 2020 has been an absolutely horrifying year for children. And this is why. There's been unintended consequences due to the COVID-19 lockdowns and the shutdowns. Kids are taken out of the infrastructure that's keep, that keeps them safe. They're told to sit on their, their smartphones and their laptops and the pedophiles are doing the same thing. They're also home, jobless, and they're accessing our kids. And it's really bad. The reports that came out from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children have confirmed that there's been literally millions of additional reports of child sex assault originating online than there was the same time last year. Our kids are vulnerable. And when we made the des decisions to lock everything down, somehow we didn't bring them to the table. They weren't part of the discussion. One crisis then follows the next crisis. Now, what happened to George Floyd was horrible, grotesque, illegal, and that can't happen and things do need to change. However, this cry for defund the police, what does that mean? I've been watching very intently on what that looks like it's gonna mean and my fears are being realized as I see law enforcement saying, look, if our city council gets their way on this or our county commissioners get their way, our child crimes unit is gonna be defunded. Again, are we gonna fail our kids again? Are we not gonna bring them to the table to the discussion on what we do with these societal transformations? Law enforcement already struggles, I promise you, with the resources they need to keep our kids safe. This is not some small thing. This is the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world. The trafficking of people, of children, their exploitation. There's been like a 5,000% increase of child rape videos online. In the United States, we're the number one demand. We're one of the top destination countries for human trafficking, and we're failing our kids at every corner. It's time to get loud because they can't get loud. Remember, kids can't protest. They can't riot. They can't march in the streets. And so we don't hear from them. But we need to stand up and be their voice once and for all. And we have an opportunity to do it. July 30th is Human Trafficking Awareness Day for the whole world. It's an official thing. And we are going to get loud on that day. And we need you to join us. We need to stand tall, stand brave, stand courageously for these children in the face of these societal changes. We have to make sure they have a position. They are being considered because so far this year, we have not considered them. And so if you want to get more instructions on how you can help us get loud on July 30th to make sure those in power make sure to keep those kids safe, simply text HELP THEM to 51555. Help them to 51555 and you will get further instruction from us on how to, you can join us and we can get loud and make sure the kids have the solutions they need. Thank you so much and God bless you.